Good morning, Heritage Baptist Church girls and boys. It's good to see you today. Thank you for joining us on this most glorious Sunday, Easter Sunday. Today, I've got some really cool stuff planned out for you that has to do with this bowl of water here. But before we get to that, we're going to sing some songs. Now, I hope each of you are sitting very nicely in front of your TV at home and listening to this with your mom and dad. They may not know the songs that we sing like you do, so I'm going to need you to sing out and help them. All right, let me grab my guitar, and we'll jump right into this. Now, how many of you know the song, As the Deer? I can imagine that all of you said, yes, you know the song. So let's help our parents sing it, and we'll just start right off the bat. As the deer panteth for the water, so my soul longeth after Thee. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship Thee. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. I want you more than gold or silver, only you can satisfy. You alone are the real joy giver and the apple of my eye. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship thee. You're my friend, and you are my brother, even though you are a king. I love you more than any other, so much more than anything. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship thee. Excellent singing, but I think you can sing a little bit louder on this next song because I know all of you know it. We're going to sing 10,000 Reasons, Bless the Lord, O My Soul. So get your parents ready and sing out because I need the help. My voice today. Woo! Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh, my soul, worship His holy name, and sing like never before, O oh, my soul, I worship Your holy name. The sun comes up 
It's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the evening comes. And bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh, oh, my soul, worship His holy name, and sing like never before, O oh, my soul, I worship Your holy name. Your rich in love and you're slow to anchor your name is great and your heart is kind for all your goodness I will keep on singing ten thousand reasons for my heart to find and bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship His holy name, and sing like never before, O oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. And on that day when my strength is failing, the end draws near and my time has come, still my soul will sing your praise unending. Ten thousand years and then forevermore. And bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. Worship His holy name and sing like never before, O oh my soul. I worship your holy name, Lord, I worship your holy name. Man, great singing today, guys. Let us start with a word of prayer and we'll get right into this lesson. Now, you're going to notice something different about me, and yes, I I did shave my beard a little bit. All right, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you'd help us today. I pray that this lesson would bless those that hear it, Father, and that we would learn a little bit more of you and a little bit more of how miraculous your salvation is, Father. Now I pray you'd watch over this lesson. Help me. I ask these things in your name. Amen. All right, let me get this guitar off and we'll get started. Now, you might have noticed it wasn't my beard that was shaved. I, I don't know. I just needed a haircut, guys. I couldn't help it, okay? All right, so I've got a question for you, okay? Now, you may think this is an easy question, and I know a lot of you guys out there probably know the answer, but we're going to look a little bit deeper into why Easter is so special. So that's my first question. Why is it that Easter is so special? Does anyone know? You can raise your hand. Lila, I see your hand. Yeah, Easter's so special because Jesus rose from the grave. But why did Jesus have to come and die on a cross and be buried in a grave? To find the answer to that, we need to look all the way back. Back to the very beginning with Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden with God. Now this bowl that you see up here filled with water was a clean world that God had made. There was no sin. It was perfect. 
And God placed Adam and Eve into this world. No sin. But as you know, Adam and Eve sinned. They disobeyed God. And the first sin entered into the world. And that sin had an effect on everyone. Just a little sin, just a little bit of disobedience against God, and the earth started to become dirty. The earth started to become unclean. But it didn't stop with just Adam and Eve. It kept going. After Adam and Eve sinned, God had to cast them out of the garden. As they left the garden, guess what? They had two children by the names of Cain. and What was the other one? Abel. That's right. And who remembers what happened to Abel? Cain got angry at Abel and decided that he didn't like it and was going to murder his brother. And a whole bunch of sin came into the earth. And now... Cain had children, and they sinned. Adam and Eve, they had more children, and they sinned. And as we go through the Bible, we find more stories. Matter of fact, the next story that we come to is the story of Noah. Now, the Bible said that Noah was a righteous man, and the world that he lived in was exceedingly evil. Everyone wanted their own way, and sin entered more into the earth. And everyone did that what was right in his own eyes, regardless of what God had said. And the earth became dark. All kinds of sin. Well, God decided to send a flood. But that flood didn't erase sin. That just erased the evil men that were on this earth. And this earth was still cursed. And this earth was still dark. But that's only the very beginning of the story. After the flood, as we go through, you find man doing what he wanted to do. Over and over, man chooses what he wants rather than what God wants. You think of King David. He was a man after God's own heart, and yet he still sinned. Matter of fact, he created a horrible mess for his kingdom, and in the process, more sin entered into the earth. And as you can see, man, the earth's getting pretty full of sin. Now, the sin didn't stop here. It kept going throughout time. And a matter of fact, you and me and everyone in our church and everyone out there, we all add our own little bits of sin. You say, oh, well, it's just a little sin. Remember those cookies up on the counter that we always talk about and you know mom wouldn't see? That's just a little bit of sin. And guess what it does? It makes your life a little bit darker and a little bit more full of sin. And it happened throughout all creation and through all of time. Now the Jews, the Jews knew about God and they knew what was right and they had sacrifices. Now these sacrifices were designed to help the Jewish people see what God's forgiveness would do. But you know what? Let's look in the Bible as what it says about sacrifices. In Hebrews 10.4, if you want to turn there, I know probably some of you guys are already there. You know who you are, the ones who turn really fast all the time and win for your team. Hebrews 10 verse 4 says this, But in those sacrifices there is a remembrance again made of sins every year. For It is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats should take away sins. So the Jews thought, well, we'll sacrifice. If you can't see, these are some bulls right here. Maybe they're bulls, but they're cows, okay? Nothing happens. You mix them around, you have as many, you have as many sheep, bulls, it doesn't matter. The Bible says that the blood of goats and bulls, cannot take away sin. So the only way to get rid of that sin was for someone to be sinless and keep the entirety of God's law without failing in one point. That means never lying. 
never disobeying, never talking back to your mom and dad, never committing any evil. And God knew that no one could keep the law. But yet, God knew that His Son would be able to do it. And so, God sent His Son. That's why we celebrate Christmas. Because Jesus came to this earth. But He didn't come to this earth just to be a little baby. He grew up from the manger. And He lived His life and He lived it perfectly. Without any sin. Because He knew that it was His blood that would make a payment for our sin. Let's turn over to 2 Corinthians here. I want to show you one more verse and why it's so important that Jesus came. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 21 says this, For He, that's God, made Him, that's Jesus, to be sin for us. Who knew no sin? Jesus knew no sin. That we might be made the righteousness of God in Him. And so Jesus went to the cross. And this world full of sin and wickedness, God put it all on our Savior. And Jesus died on the cross. Now Jesus was buried, but He didn't stay there. Because if Jesus didn't rise from the dead, the Bible says we're of all men most hopeless. And for three days, Jesus was in the grave. And as He rose again, He cleaned this whole world up. And you know what? Jesus' blood is the only thing that could do that. Now you may say, man, if Jesus could take the whole sin of the world and cleanse it, how can I have that for myself? All you have to do is ask Him. It's that easy. The Bible says in Acts 16.31, and I know many of you know this, says, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And the answer is, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Believe that He came, that He died, was buried, and rose again the third day, and put your trust in Him, and He will save you. And just as this dirty world became clean through Jesus' blood, so you can become clean through His shed blood for you. Now if you'd like to do that, I know your parents are there and you could talk to them. This would be a wonderful day for it. For it is the day that we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord. Now I'd like you all to close your eyes and pray with me this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, thank You for this day. Thank You for Your Son, for Your spotless Lamb that You sent to this earth to save us from our sins. Father, I pray if there's someone out there, one of these children that doesn't know that they would take this opportunity, Father, to talk to their parents, but most importantly, talk to You and pray to You. Father, we love You. We thank You for this day. We ask these things in Your name. Amen. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that lesson. Just a little idea of what Jesus can do for your sin. This is Alex signing off. Thank you, and God bless.